In 2014, a Chinese company began manufacturing gyrocopters for the PLA's special forces. However, their affiliation with the Chinese military came to light after they took part in a parade in 2019 to commemorate the People's Republic of China's 70th anniversary. The Chinese military is putting a little used aircraft concept to work. Looking like something out of the classic James Bond film, the Hunting Eagle gyrocopter is going into People's Liberation Army PLA service. Developed by Shaanxi Baoji Special Vehicles, the Hunting Eagle is expected to operate in the search and rescue, border control, reconnaissance, anti-riot, and other roles. It will also be used to self-deploy Chinese special forces on missions into enemy territory. When the West becomes engaged in combat with the PRC PLA, the PLA will use a very decisive, diversified, multi-asset, combat operational approach to quickly overwhelm and overrun Western ground combat forces. Use all means necessary to get in close and grab the enemy by the belt buckle. Why not use the Hunting Eagle Strike gyroplane to help obtain that objective? Gyrocopters are different from helicopters in having an unpowered main rotor. A rearward-facing, engine-powered propeller provides thrust, and once sufficient speed is gained, the main rotor begins to rotate providing lift. Video released by China's state-operated television network. CCTV shows the first gyrocopter operated by the People's Liberation Army PLA equipped with anti-tank missile launchers and a small sensor turret. The video was aired on the CCTV7 television channel, which is dedicated to news about the PLA. In the footage, we see a two-seat gyrocopter loaded out with four anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, two on each of the aircraft's underside hardpoint extensions. The gyrocopter also appears to be equipped with a small sensor turret under its nose, which could be used to find targets, aim and guide the missiles depending on their guidance method, and provide for more general surveillance and reconnaissance type tasks. The footage also depicts a fleet of unarmed gyrocopters performing training exercises and stunts. The Shaanxi based defense manufacturer, Shaanxi Baoji Special Vehicles Manufacturing Company, first began producing its Shaanxi Baoji Special Vehicles Lai Ying Falcon or Hunting Eagle Strike Gyrocopter for the PLA in August 2014. At least publicly, they were designed for PLA Special Forces. The Hunting Eagle comes in different configurations, including single and multiple seat variants. According to the company, its two-manned gyrocopter has a range of around 250 miles and boasts a maximum gross weight of around 1,235 pounds. Unlike helicopters, which rely on a dedicated motor to power their rotors, gyrocopters fly by means of auto-rotation. A rear-facing pusher engine powers a propeller. The thrust and motion from this rearward prop propel the aircraft's main blades. While the use of armed and unarmed gyrocopters by the PLA has been known for some time. Their association with the Chinese military became more widely known in 2019. Following their presence at a military parade to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. It's likely that the unarmed gyrocopters seen in the recent CCTV7 video are close in design to those displayed in 2019. The gyroplane was officially revealed today as belonging to a special warfare equipment group formation. That marched in the parade to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China on October 1st. Called Li Ying or Falcon the gyrocopter has already been delivered to the Chinese Army and Air Force paratroopers, several state-owned media outlets reported today. Li Ying was developed by Shaanxi Bao He Defense Technology a company also known as Shaanxi Baoji Special Vehicle Manufacturing. It can carry two commandos, reconnaissance and communications equipment and weapons. According to the report, Li Ying has a range of 690 kilometers, a ceiling of 5,300 meters, a takeoff weight of 560 kilograms, and can operate in temperatures as low as minus 36 C. Its small dimensions and low flying ability keep it from being detected easily. The aircraft can deliver troops deep into hostile locations or conduct stealth reconnaissance missions, the magazine reported, noting that the gyroplane is small and difficult to detect by radar. As it closes in on a target, it can shut down its engine and glide up to the unsuspecting enemy. 
The aerial assault gyroplane project was started in August 2014 with Shanxi Baohe Defense Technology being the developer. The magazine quoted the chairman of the company, Wang Baohe, as saying, Gyrocopters are slow but nimble. These aircraft can perform very short takeoffs and land with very high approach angles in small areas. They are very easily concealed, making them easy to transport for all sorts of covered reconnaissance missions, as well as for border patrols and search and rescue operations. Their ability to travel low and slow and their small radar and thermal signatures makes them hard to detect, as well. Taken at face value. The addition of ATGMs and a sensor turret marks an important upgrade to the PLA's gyrocopters in terms of munitions. The latest image we have seen of these aircraft shows one boasting small precision-guided bombs, without a sensor ball. It isn't clear just how real this capability is, either. The ATGM tubes and sensor ball don't exactly look like high-grade installations. Regardless, even if it is aspirational in nature or in development, it is still quite interesting. The People's Armed Police PAP, a Chinese national-level paramilitary gendarmerie, have favored gyrocopters for aerial surveillance and security assistance. In the video, a rough translation describes how the armed gyrocopters are intended to support ground forces and hunt and kill tanks. It's also noted that some measures have been taken to quiet the aircraft. In addition, a good point is made in that training pilots to fly gyrocopters is relatively easy and their logistical footprint is absolutely tiny, which is a big benefit for austere operations. The little missile armed gyrocopter is certainly an interesting concept, but just how long they would last in a conflict is questionable. But as a very low-cost patrol and surveillance aircraft with contingent light attack capabilities that pretty much anyone can be taught to fly and maintain, it might make some sense. The Chinese military is putting a little used aircraft concept to work. Looking like something out of the classic James Bond film You Only Live Twice, the Hunting Eagle Gyrocopter is going into People's Liberation Army PLA service. Regardless, it is just another quirky facet of a growing PLA that includes everything from very high-end aerial capabilities like stealthy fighters. All the way down to little autogyros with missiles slapped on their sides.